Hey everyone, I'm hanging out here with Tony Rivalori. Tony, welcome to the Marvel Clubhouse. How are you? Thank you very much. I saw well, you looking around you. earlier. Yeah, 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 I was looking around. There's a lot of good stuff to take. I mean, <laughs> look at. Take, what? Yeah, take it. We, it's fine. We want, we want you to leave a gift. So you're not new to comics. No. You have been to, in fact, many a comic convention. I have, yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, what kind of Marvel stuff are you into? Yeah. What kind of Marvel? I, I as a kid, I used to uh, grow up reading the comics. Uh, I was always a big uh, Spider-Man fan. Mm -hmm. I loved Nightcrawler and Iceman from the X-Men universe. That's what I was I was reading and very, very, very interested in. And then, you know, throughout life, you know, I became an actor. And then now, uh, thankfully, in the MCU. Yes, we were. I was going to say, you are playing Flash Thompson in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe. Yeah. So, a very important character to Peter's life. Uh, yes. He's in his life a lot <laughs> throughout his entire life. Well, yeah. But so, yeah, what was, yeah, right? He's, what, was, what was fun about playing the, this like, iconic supporting character in like Peter's life? Um, it was it was really cool, man. Um, both for the inner me being <laughs> loving the comic books and getting to play someone mm -hmm. as awesome as Flash Thompson in the comic books, but also just like, you know, he's obviously <laughs> six two and blonde and blue <laughs> in the comics, uh, and I, you know, I'm I'm not, and I I love that that um, uh, all those people at Marvel and Sony gave me the opportunity to play the character and, mm -hmm. and bring my own spin to it, and so hopefully, you know, later on. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll be interested in visiting him back. Oh, I think so, because uh, there's going to be another Spider-Man film. We yes, know Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, so yeah. what was it like uh, reuniting with that cast? Was it like a high school reunion, since you are kind of like classmates at this yeah. point? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it was really, really cool. Uh, and it was exciting to, to, to welcome some new people in, too, um, which was dope. It was like a great little reunion, and everyone got along and, and you know, hung out a bunch again. <laughs> and just kind of like uh, messed about. It was really fun. You are not only in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you are in mm -hmm. the Tundra of Allura universe. You, are, you have a, uh, a new film, The Long do, Dumb Road. I do have a new film, The yes. Long Dumb Road. Um, uh, it is a road trip film, which yeah. is great, but there's a little bit more to that. So tell us uh, a little bit about uh, what makes this different from other road trip movies. There's a lot of small things that make a lot of differences in this road trip genre, mm -hmm. um, and how we were able to subvert kind of certain things. And that's what makes it awesome. Because one, we have a female director directing two men, Hannah Fidel. She did an amazing job. You know, a lot of people kind of gave her a lot of crap for wanting to direct two men mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, staying in a box of romantic movies or female driven movies. And also you have two brown leads um, that it never mentions in the movie. Mm -hmm. It makes no impact in the movie. It's just two brown leads going on this project, and it could have been any variety of races in this part, mm -hmm. and I think that's what's really cool. So I gotta ask. Ask. Uh, you are taking a road trip. Yes. Put you in a hypothetical road trip. You got okay. room for three other people in the car. You got room for three other Marvel characters from across the Marvel, Marvel universe. Characters. Okay. Uh, who do you bring, and who's doing what? I would bring... Peter Parker, because he's snarky and he's funny. Oh, and cool. it would be like a good little kind of like, he can always keep a conversation going. Mm -hmm. Nice. Front seat? What's I think I think he'd be passenger seat. Passenger He's like a good, he'd be, he'd be, a good he'd navigator? He'd be good passenger seat. Okay, good, yeah, He'd right. be a good navigator. He'd, yeah, and also that spidey sense, he'd be able to like, oh, figure out if someone's about to hit us, mm -hmm. you know. Then maybe I would bring Tony Stark. Okay. Just because one, then we'd be traveling in style. You, we'd you, have a great just, car. He would just, yeah, yeah. He'd be a was, party bus. You'd have to convince him to take a car. Yes. But he'd be a party bus at that point. And then I think, more. I, I think I would bring Captain America as a driver. Oh. oh. Because one, he's responsible. But two, if I do get drunk or sick or anything, he's the guy to take care of me. He will he's take, a good friend. Who, what, all right, here we go. What Marvel character are you going to visit? Black Panther. Yeah! Let's go to Wakanda. <laughs> now Let's you, go to Wakanda. See, now you need Tony because Tony's because, like, the one that can be like, I'm bringing some friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going on this road trip. Exactly. There also, are no roads. And I feel like Tony could be like, oh, you need a car that drives on water? Gotcha. Tony, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Of course. It was a blast you meeting you. Uh, you all, Likewise. please catch the long, dumb road. Tony, thank you, man. Thank you very Pleasure, much. Pleasure, yeah. Me, man. Thanks for checking out Earth's Mightiest Show. Go watch full episodes of Earth's Mightiest Show now on Marvel.com, Marvel social media, and on the official Earth's Mightiest Show Facebook page. Yeah, where you can get all of our latest episodes, plus the behind-the-scenes photos from our set, Marvel news, hilarious comic panels, and lots more. This is Marvel. Your universe.